What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to another edition of Stare Down MMA TV. In this edition, we're going to focus on one of my favorite subjects in all of MMA, which is the UFC middleweight division. Uh, those who know me know that I've never made it much of a mystery that Anderson Silva is my favorite fighter, period. I followed his career since his first fight and not his first fight in the UFC, and I just think he's a, a wonderful competitor, probably the best there is out there. Um, another subject that I have to broach when it comes to the middleweight division obviously would be injuries. It looks like 2011 was just plagued with them left and right. There were a ton of events that were marred, you know, scheduling wise by injuries. You know, it, it seemed like it was every other week we were hearing about another, you know, big name fighter that was going down because of some pre fight injury. Uh, it's a good thing that the Zufa implemented that medical coverage policy for all the contracted fighters like they did last year. It was a big step forward for the sport. But uh, anyway, as far as the middleweight division in the UFC is concerned, uh, by now we all know that Mark Munoz has pulled out of his fight against Chael Sonnen at UFC on Fox 2 due to a pre-fight injury. And Michael Bisping is now stepping into Munoz's place to fight Sonnen and it looks like they're going to be, you know, competing for the next shot at Anderson Silva's title. Um, interesting matchup, definitely, because we all know that Bisping, he's been barking up the tree for a title shot for quite a while now, and after he dispatched of Mayhem Miller in the fashion that he did, he just made that much more of a case for himself. You know, of course he has his critics and his haters, and justifiably so in some aspects, uh, you know, I, I tend to think he's a, he's a pretty wonderful competitor. He's got a good skill set. Uh, you know, I, how, publicly how everyone's perceived in MMA, you know, varies from fighter to fighter. I guess when you match him up against somebody like Chael Sonnen, he's uh, he doesn't look as bad in comparison because you got two guys that you know, there's no gray area between the two fighters. You either love those guys or you hate those guys. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome to see those two guys go at it. Um, it's also interesting in the fact that I thought that if Chael had fought Mark, there was the possibility there that if Munoz beat him, that that would put him that much further away from a rematch against Anderson. And of course, we all know that uh, you, people have been clamoring for a rematch between those two since UFC 117 when Chael took Anderson as far as anybody has in the UFC so far. Uh, <clears throat> excellent fight, great fight, but you know, Dan Severn also had Hoist Gracie beat down for quite a while in UFC 4 before he got triangle choked himself. So, you know, we could talk about that, but that's another, that's a, that'll be another video altogether. But anyway, uh, it's interesting now that it seemed like if Bisping had fought Demi and Maya like he was supposed to on this card and Chael Sonnen had fought Mark Munoz like they, he, he was supposed to on the card, then... Uh, it might have taken them a little bit longer to get to that title shot against Anderson Silva. So it's an unfortunate set of events that Munoz had to get hurt so that these two guys are almost guaranteed a title shot, you know, whoever wins this bout. But it's a, uh, it's pretty awesome. You know, that uh, Middleweight division, it's, it was almost starting to bottleneck there because, you know, we had Anthony Rumble Johnson move up and wait. And of course we all know what happened with that and him missing weight and then, Vitor Belfort takes him on, ends up choking him out. And then, you know, we had uh, Husamar Palhares, who had another outstanding performance. And to be quite honest with you, just from a, a, a fan standpoint, in my own personal opinion, the only person that really scares me as far as a, a threat to Anderson Silva's title is Husamar Palhares, because I think that if he was able to actually get a hold of Anderson and control him on the ground, and he's got a really, really good chance of submitting him. And we all know by Anderson's career record that he's had a problem with submissions in the past, and you know a lot of his win, a lot of his losses have, have come by that way. But um, yeah, it should be awesome. You know, I can't wait to see how this fight turns out. Um, wow, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I, I really don't know who to pick between the two. I think I'm going to lean a little bit more towards Bisping on this, just because, uh, you know, of course, being the Anderson Silva fanboy, i got to be uh, a little bit more in his defense when it comes to uh, the subject of Chael. But uh, anyway, hey, hope you guys have a great night. We'll see you next episode, and take care. Later.